me dimpy sangvi and i am the diva eco global spa fit and fab my fitness mantra is being active and staying positive i like to hustle and that is what keeps me going and fit and now global spa fit and fab icons for the year so i wanted you to uh, chat a little bit about your fitness routine what does your fitness routine look like dimpy okay so i am someone who cannot like do a uh, simple or like a same fitness thing every day so i need to mix it up so i can say like you know twice in a week or something i'll go for a swim then the other two days i'll go to the gym i'll do my cardio and weight training and if i get bored of that i do stair climbing so i like to mix it up that is what my uh, fitness routine is about and other than that obviously when it comes to following a healthy diet i try to like balance it out because i am a big foodie so it's not like that i don't you know eat my junk food but yeah i try to like uh, plan my diet accordingly like i'll start my day with a green tea a green smoothie then i head to the gym and uh, followed by a smoothie bowl i like to eat a lot of nuts and uh, yeah and then you know like i have my soup in the evening so i try to balance my diet and basically stay active So tell me more. What does the word wellness mean to you? What is your definition of wellness? So wellness for me is uh, basically a balance of being physically fit and even mentally fit. I would say that is also equally important. So it has to be a balance of both. And uh, I, like I said, like you know, I like to be fit, like in terms of working out and eating healthy. And in terms of my mental health, also I like to meditate. i like to communicate and share with my loved ones because i think that is very important in this age where you know it's all about social media and we are in front of a screen like all the time so it's very important to spend that time with your family share your uh, things with them because that really helps with your mental health as well yeah so how has the shift been for you you know from the corporate clients to becoming a fashion blogger how has the journey been like Okay, so it was a big shift for me because you know I was working under someone, and then you become your own boss when you shift to this. So it takes a bit of a time, and you know because there's no one to tell you that you have to start your day at this time, you have to get this done today. So it's like you have to motivate yourself constantly. So that is one big challenge which I faced when I started with my own blog, and then you have to obviously plan your day, plan your shoots, uh, content creation, ideas. It's like constantly you know you have to come up with new ideas this is a creative field so we cannot be doing the same thing because it gets boring for our audience as well so we have to be on our toes think constantly and come up with new ideas and create engaging content for them so what made you ultimately take the plunge that decision that you took that okay i have to do this now or it's not going to happen what made you do that See, honestly, first I started uh, with this thing as a side hustle thing because I used to do like my shoots on weekends. I didn't like leave my job and just started this thing. So I was yes, taking so daily steps, yeah, towards it. So I started with my shoots on weekends, and then I used to, after my office hours, I used to work on my content writing and stuff. And then, like when I started, you know, uh, getting a bit of more confident about it that yes, I can do this, and you know, I should like just go for it now. so that is when i thought that yeah i think i should do this full time only then i can make something out of it so what is that one big challenge that you have faced uh, you know when when you started out with your blog what is that one challenge that you faced and how did you overcome that challenge so yeah like i think this was a completely new field for me i had no one to guide me or anything and uh, like i said you are on your own there's no one to tell you anything there's no boss or anything you are just planning yeah. everything on your own doing everything on your own i was my right. own editor i was my own content writer uh, planning like my own stylist so my own makeup artist it's like like the whole team which i was doing on my own when i started out so that was a big challenge i want to know how are things different now you said you were you were like a one woman army you know managing everything from scratch so how are things different now Twenty twenty one. Tell me, like, do you have a team to take care of yeah. your makeup or to do the production? You know, work. Yeah. So I have my team. I have my production team. I have my makeup artist. I have my content writer. So right now, yes, That's absolutely, good. I have a lot of help now <laughs> compared okay. to when I started. <laughs> okay. So it's much better. Yeah. Okay. 
So, and that uh, is cool, uh, about any field, yeah. When you start out in something new, you learn with your experiences, you learn with your failures, and then it's up to you how you, you know take that, take those failures, and what do you make out of that? So things are much more competitive as well now. You know, compared to I think 2016 when you started out with your blog, and then yeah. 2021 now, and yeah. there's like a sudden flurry of content providers and social media, etc. So what's next for you? What is it that you're looking at doing next? So uh, I've recently started with my YouTube channel as well, wherein I am focusing more on uh, travel. So me and my husband Shashank, we both love to travel even before like we started uh, blogging and stuff. So that yes. is one thing that I'm focusing on right now, building my YouTube and uh, creating a lot of fun travel videos. And we do like a lot of offbeat travel, which people would love to watch. So that is something new that I'm trying out right now. And in terms of my other platforms, obviously, I constantly try to innovate and come up with new ideas because it's not. Uh, this is a field where you have to constantly create and come up with new ideas. You cannot do the same thing because it gets boring for your audience. So it's constantly right. changing. Every project you have to be like unique. Every project has to be unique. So yeah. Right. Yeah. So tell me something about you and Shashank. How did the the genesis of the offbeat couple come about? How did that happen? Simultaneously. Yeah. So we <laughs> didn't really like think it through so much. It's just purely out of a love for travel, and we thought, you know, we should share this journey with our followers, and let's right. see how it goes. Do they like watching us? And uh, So yeah, it just started out of our love for travel, and now it's growing. And I feel so happy to see that a lot of people are loving the content that we are posting. We recently did like this. Uh, we covered this festival before lockdown, so we covered this festival called Hornbill in Nagaland. And oh, I that's remember. lovely! I've been meaning to go there. It yeah, is okay, beautiful. You know, I've seen yeah. images. How lucky, Jyoti! I really you must, you. you must watch our vlog on that. Like, wow. gone viral and you've got so much traction on that so and it it is a beautiful place to visit so you know again like Absolutely. i said the yeah. thing yeah yeah like people right. generally don't go to nagaland and do such th- uh, kind of thing right right so that right. what we want to cover and showcase through our youtube channel so that must have been the experience of a lifetime absolutely because i've seen such stunning images of the festival And that is yeah. something which is there on my bucket list. You know, I definitely uh, oh, you must, want you to go for yeah. that. Okay, yeah. so it comes highly recommended. So tell me something. What has been your favorite travel destination so far? I think uh, I would say London. It's a city okay. which is very. It is very close to my heart. I was there for like Christmas and New Year's, and it's a beautiful time to visit that city. I would say. Yes. Yes. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely. It's like a wonderland. <laughs> And I'm someone and who loves Christmas, so I love traveling okay. during that time of the year. Okay. So tell me something. What are your fashion basics in your wardrobe? What does fashion mean to you? Are you somebody who's heavily dictated by brands, or do you put your own look together for the day? Or tell me a little bit about your fashion anthem. What does fashion mean to you? So, uh, see, I'm not someone who will blindly follow trends, or like you know, I'm not someone who would be. Who's like crazy about big brands and stuff? I'm not that kind of. My dear, you are the trendsetter. <laughs> I don't follow trends. Then we say you are the trendsetter. <laughs> okay. I think your outfit basically should be something that describes your personality. And if you think you can carry it, you should wear it. Not just blindly follow a particular trend. I I don't believe in doing that. And I like right. statement pieces, minimalistic statement pieces. so you won't see me wearing a lot of stuff at the same time so you'll see me wearing some nice statement pieces and i think that really speaks out my personality which is like confident and bold so yeah that is my fashion statement yeah well, you are quite a show stopper and for yourself you don't need too many accessories on <laughs> tell me what is the success <laughs> mantra that you live by what is it that you believe in some some uh, thought that you always have in mind What is that mantra that you have in mind? What is your mantra for success? For success, I yeah, think, yeah, I think it's it's a hustle. Like you know, you have to hustle every day. You cannot be laid back. You have to take up opportunities which come your way. Like you know, right. I know I take up projects which you know I feel oh my god I won't be able to do this you know and I doubt myself many times. But right. then I challenge myself to still go ahead and do it. 
and trust me it is more important to try and rather than like just giving up on something so you that's that's my mantra to success you just work hard and keep going you know like go with the flow and yeah. you definitely believe in taking up challenges you know getting out of your comfort zone and trying different new uh, things do you believe in that yes I you do that. yes yes okay okay so you see you are a very good looking and a successful woman and there are thousands of women who care to be in your shoes okay <laughs> what is that one pearl of wisdom what is that one piece of advice that dimpy can give to others it would be to not like lose yourself because you know this is this is like an ocean and with the social media you you have so much exposure and you're constantly comparing yourself to others so right. uh, yeah like you know even if like i am on social media for a long time i'll start comparing myself and that is when i make a conscious effort to stop right there and just focus on my assets like what am i strong at and how can i nurture them so uh, to everyone out there i think you should really like believe in yourself obviously everyone would say that you believe in yourself only then you can make something out of it and you can do something with your life but constantly it's also important to uh, work on yourself and keep improving yourself also yeah so if you uh, want to give me an answer to this question if i want to ask you what is it that dimpi santi has learned so far in life आपने जिंदगी में अभी तक क्या सीखा है आपकी सबसे बड़ी सीख क्या व्हाट वुड यू से इट हैज टू बी दैट यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट योरसेल्फ हाउ यू आर बिकॉज़ दिस इज व्हाट यू आर या इफ यू आर नॉट सैटिस्फाइड एंड हैप्पी विद दैट देन आई लाइक यू कांट डू एनीथिंग अबाउट इट एंड यू कांट अचीव एनीथिंग विद योर लाइफ सो बी हैप्पी विद हाउ यू आर व्हाट यू आर एंड देन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर एंड वर्क हार्ड एंड आई एम श्योर लाइक यू कैन मेक समथिंग आउट ऑफ योर लाइफ या definitely whether it's a small thing or a big thing it doesn't matter it's just important to be occupied in something yeah so i i think you must be believing that it's very very important and all the more important for every woman to be financially independent and work yeah i do believe in that yes absolutely yeah. because that gives you a lot lot of conf- confidence to make your own choices also yeah right right and if you're financially independent you have your own voice yeah Very important for your sense of self worth. Great! It's it's been absolutely fantastic chatting with you, Dimpy. I've really you so much enjoyed fun. our conversation uh, together. It didn't even feel like an interview. So thank yeah. you so much for <laughs> sharing and, and such brilliant. And because like you made me so comfortable, and you know, like I actually felt that this was just a normal conversation that I'm having with someone, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Great! You look stunning. I must say so. Yeah. <laughs> And effortlessly so. It doesn't look as if you put in any effort into your appearance. It looks as if you know you, uh, you just look like that on an everyday basis. Really good. I I really admire that. It's a very important part of your personality.